You shall not steal. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today we are going to be talking about the Eighth Commandment, which is you shall not steal. So it's saying don't steal. Yeah, and, and stealing is any time we, we take something that doesn't belong to us. And really, you know, in the Bible, one of the major themes of the Bible is that God wants us to be selfless. Yeah, God wants us to put other people first. Selfless is the opposite of selfish. To be selfless is to think of yourself less than other people. You put other people's needs first before your own. Selfish is when you only think of yourself. You think of yourself first and other people, you might think of them, but you think of them second. You don't think of them first. Being selfish is just, you know, looking out for number one, looking out just for yourself and for your own needs and for your own wants. And sometimes being selfish can even be confusing what you want and what you need. Stealing is one of the ultimate acts of selfishness. Because when you steal, you're pretty much saying that you deserve this thing and the other person does not, which is pretty much never ever true. No, you see, in the Bible, it says that everything that we have is a gift from God. Yeah. So if everything that I have is a gift from God, then everything that you have is a gift from God. And so if I take something that belongs to you, I'm taking something that you got from God, which is a bad idea. Is it really doesn't matter if the other person notices if you stole from them? Because you know who will notice is the one who gave it to them. God knows when you steal. God knows everything. He's always with us. He's always watching us. He's always there for us. Everything that we have is a gift from God. And really too, when we, when we steal, we're really not being grateful for what we have. We're not being grateful for what God has given us. We're just jealous of what God gave somebody else. And if we can be content with what God has given us, then I think it'll be a lot easier to not be tempted to steal. It's easier to be selfless when we're grateful for what we have. And you know, one of the main things that you can do to be selfless is to do the opposite of stealing. The opposite of stealing is giving away. God has given you so, so much. You know, this one time Jesus saw this lady put what would have been like two cents into the offering at the temple. And he saw her and he pretty much said, wow, that lady has given so much much. You know, that lady was so grateful for what she had, even though she didn't have very much. You know, she was very poor, but she gave what she had away because she knew that God would take care of her. When we're selfish, we want to take more and take more. But when we are selfless, we realize that we've got more than we need and we can share that with others. And so my challenge to you guys today is that we would be selfless. Yeah. And that we would be grateful for what we have. And that we would not be selfish and be tempted to steal because we feel like we don't have enough. Because everything that everyone has comes straight from God. So my challenge to you guys today is that we would be selfless and not selfish. And that we would not take the things that don't belong to us, but instead be grateful for the things that do. So let's all work hard to follow the Eighth Commandment.